So you guys are going to grade this on your own, but what we're looking for in this problem is we're trying to determine what is the relationship between um, angle, was it 7 and 11 or 7 and 12? 7 and 11, right? So we want to look at the angle relationship with 7 and 11. Now, um, one thing that I want you guys to understand, when you're looking at a transversal that's intersecting multiple lines and you're trying to understand how is the relationship between two angles, if you have a line and an intersection that's not a part of your angles, cover them up. Since I'm drawing mine, I'm just going to erase it. But ladies and gentlemen, don't try to make things more confusing. That's just a lot of extra stuff that's going on um, that you don't really need, right? So if we just go and look at this, we have angle 7 and angle 11. Now I know we obviously don't have parallel lines here, but we don't need parallel lines so we have our angle relationships because our angle relationships happen when we have a transversal that's intersecting two or more lines. So by looking at this, what we want to do is, remember we talked about interior and exterior, right? Where interior was our angles that were inside or between our lines or parallel lines, and exterior was out of there, right? So let's look at our angle. We had 7 and we have 11. Are they both interior or are they both exterior? Between those two lines. 7 is what? Interior, exterior. And 7 would be in called interior, and 11 would be called exterior, exterior right? Because it's between the two lines. And you guys see how it kind of becomes confusing? If I kept that line there, then you might say, well, oh, 7 is exterior of those two lines. But we don't care about that line because it doesn't have any of the angles we're looking for. That's why I erased it. So we have an interior angle and an exterior angle. So let's go back to our angle definitions that we were supposed to know. Alternate exterior, I'm sorry, alternate exterior dealt with angles that were only exterior, right? Alternate interior, only dealt with angles that were interior. Consecutive interior, only dealt with angles that were interior. And then there was that one that was corresponding. And what corresponding does is corresponding talks about when we have an angle that's interior or exterior. But it just doesn't mean that you have an interior and exterior angle. These angles have to be in the same position. When you guys look at those intersections, do you guys see how 7 and 11 are both in the bottom right-hand corner of that intersection? Okay, So therefore, these are what we call corresponding angles. And you guys didn't have to write this, but does anybody remember how the corresponding angles relate to each other? Are they equal? Add up to 180, add up to 90, add up to 30. They Oh, well, I'm sorry. We didn't talk about parallel lines. This is, these aren't parallel lines, so we don't need to worry about that. Sorry. Um, but when we do have parallel lines and we have corresponding angles, they're equal to each other in value. But I'm sorry. I was jumping the gun. This was, we didn't talk about parallel lines yet for this one. So yeah, so those are just corresponding angles. So if you got that correct, give yourself an